Today, we're attempting to do something that I have not done in almost three years. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic opening. In this video, we will be revisiting my very first live stream on YouTube. This live stream took place in July of 2020, and if you've not been around that long, you probably haven't seen that live stream. And what that live stream consisted of was opening a case of Battles of Legend Armageddon. So here today, I have a first edition booster box of Battles of Legend Armageddon. If you guys don't know this box, you might not know why this is such a big deal. Inside this box, there could be the one, the only 10,000 dragon. When this card was announced, it was an absolute craze. People went insane for this card. It has always been over $1,000 for this card. It's never gone below that. It has been one of the most hyped up new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's not even new anymore. It's almost like three years old at this point, basically ever. So in this video, we will be opening a booster box of this, attempting to pull one just like we did on that live stream. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Metal Zoa from the TFK game. We have Curse of Dragon, Super Rare from LOB, and the Dark Balter from LOD. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we pull that 10K dragon? Dragon. It's actually one of the easier Starlights to pull because there's only two Starlights in the entire set. So it's about one in four cases. Uh, we have one box here, which is, you know, one 48 chance. So will we do it? Let me know. But this isn't the only thing we'll be opening. I also threw in some other cool packs like Chaos Impact, which does have the IP Mask Arena inside. Blazing Vortex, Pot of Prosperity. We got Eternity Code First Ed, you know, crazy Starlights in there. Some goes for the past, a few 25th anniversary, and some old school packs as well. So we're looking at a nice opening today. Let's crack into this box and get started. I've not opened one of these in a very long time. I think the last time I opened one of these was with Rhyme Style at his apartment. So yeah, let's see if we can do that again. Okay, 24 packs. We can also pull the Chaos Ember Dragon and prize card reprint which is also a nice one uh they went up to like over 100 bucks at one point this is the card right there on the cover let's see if we can get something crazy guys it's been a long time since we've opened this i feel like it might be at the front for this but i think in the euro versions it was at the back this i think is not a euro version so we're gonna do that i think i was right psychic wave invokes raijin we got appliancer we have Mecha Phantom Beast O-Line. This used to be a crazy card. And then a Specimen Inspection. So I was right. Secret Ray at the front. So we need to move that to the back so we don't get, you know, jump scared with the 10K Dragon, which I'd be okay with doing that. This box has also gotten crazy expensive. I think it's like $250. So it's a pretty pricey box. Hopefully that we will make our money back and get that 10K Dragon, which I think is like $1,400. Bucks. Chaos Impact First Edition. If we pull any of these big Starlights, we're going to be happy today. It's very unlikely that it happens, but that's why you open the packs, right? Just to see if it can, you know, potentially happen to you. We got a Nebula Dragon. There's a rare. I think that the foil will be at the very back. We have Nebula Dragon is a good card for blue eyes, though. Action Magic. We have a Prime Mineral and a super rare Peaceful Burial. So just a super rare there. No Starlight Masquerade at that time. All right. Battles of Chaos or Battles of Legend. I'm so used to saying Battles of Chaos. Battles of Legend Armageddon. But speaking of Battles of Chaos, you will probably be seeing some more openings of that pretty soon. So look forward to that. Soul Black one. We have Malefic. We have the Junk Anchor. Secure Gardener and a Fossil Fusion Secret Rare. Looking good, but not the card we're looking for. Let's try one more arm again, and then we'll do another pack. This was a pretty tough set to actually pull the good cards. There was like an invocation in here. Uh, the, the Chaos of a Dragon, uh, was it Dragon of Armageddon or something? Uh, that one was hard to pull. And of course the 10K Dragon. But if you do get a Madolce Angeli, nice secret rare there. I think that's actually a pretty decent card. But of course, if you do get them, it is pretty crazy. Blazing Vortex, Pot of Prosperity. I mean, it comes in secret rare as well. I would not be mad if we pulled that one. Let's do four from the back. We have Archivine Staff. We have Spring Blast. Machina, we have Spring and Pedor. We have the Skylar. Gyclops, we have the Ritual, Dogmatica Genesis, and we got a Psychic, Eraser, Laser. Remember, that was a good card when it first came out. I don't know if it still is, though, but hey, we'll take it. Used to be good, at least. Battles Legend Armageddon. They also have all these really cool uh, dragons that are on all the cover arts and stuff. They are some of the harder secrets to pull, and they're actually worth a little bit. We have the Neos Alias, nice ultra rare printing. We have Afterglow, Boost Warrior, and uh, a high rate draw, Secret Rare. I don't think that one's too crazy. All right, Armageddon. Be the box. Be the random box that has a 10k dragon in it, right? The red text, everything. I mean, we'd love to see it. We have, I mean, I'd be okay pulling the, uh, what is it? Astro Utopia as well. We have, oh, look, Utopia. Speaking of a Utopia, that's, is that a sign? I don't know. After glow, we have specimen inspection again. All right, time to try an Eternity Code first edition pack. I opened a lot of these packs from the same place and they didn't end up being that good. So uh, I don't think that I actually pulled a foil out of these besides supers. We have the Artisan, we have the Samurai Dragon, Proxy F Magician, 
Witchcrafter unveiling, that's just a super rare. Okay. So nothing out of that one. That's okay because we have a lot of packs to go. A lot of potential left in these packs. We could pull something crazy. I mean, 10K Dragon, we've been through some eras with that one. We did the live stream. I graded a PSA 10, sold it for like $4,000, which was like, I mean, insane for like a Yu-Gi-Oh card in general. But then, ooh, nice. C C92 Hard Earth Chaos Dragon is looking good. But also then it was like a new card. So it was like, wow, this card's insane. Then I also bought another one and graded another 10 and sold that one. So I had some good luck with 10K Dragon. Also, Rhyme Style trolled me in our battle when he was like, oh yeah, let's do a pack battle. And then he's like, you should watch my battle. And then what happened was he pulled 10K Dragon. So we have the Narwhal, Secret Grant, so cool looking card. So I've been through the ringer with the uh, the Battles Legend Armageddon. It's been good. It's been, you know, trolly for me, you know, against Rhyme. It's been fun. Let's see if we can add another chapter to that awesome story. We have a Legatus. That's also a good card. I wouldn't mind being like, yeah, and then three years later, I pulled another one. <laughs> okay, let's go. Can you believe it's been three years since Battles of Legend Armageddon? That is absolutely crazy. Cicada King, hey, we used that one in our Pequeno Moth deck. Go check out the 10 minute testing video. Artifact Ignition, cool. So yeah, uh, three years. That's insane, guys. 2020, that was like our first year really, you know, doing our thing on YouTube for the most part. I mean, it went, it was a crazy year for us. And of course, a crazy year for Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Dark Spell Regenerator, that's also pretty cool. Ghost from the Past too. another cool set, man. These are just some of the cool sets we've had over the last couple of years. And there's been a lot of good ones since 2019. Really 2020 is when they started coming with the cool ones. But they came with Starlights in 2019. That was awesome. Sandwich, we have... A Outburst Dragon, another ultra rare. Okay, Armageddon. Give us that Chaos Ember Dragon. I'd be happy pulling that too, even though that would obviously not cover the cost of this box. It is a very expensive one. We have Appliancer. We have Cardian. Elemental Royal Shining Flare Wingman. Why is that a reprint here? I don't know. And a number C1, Numeron Chaos Gate Sunya. We have one more Ghost from the Past here. We have Vampire Domain. We've got Hilla. We have Samsara, Co Generator, and. Fossil, Machine, Skull, Convoy, just an Ultra Rare. Speaking of Ultra Rares, we're going to pull more out of this Armageddon pack, but will there be one that is not an Ultra Rare? Well, okay, and not a Secret Rare as well, because, <laughs> yeah, they're going to be a secret. Chaos Neos, hey, the error. No, just kidding, not really. Number two, we have Blackwing, Chris, the Crack of Dawn. Nice for those Blackwing decks, I should say. And then Fossil, Dragon, Skullgar. I actually might pull out this Chris the Crack of Dawn and uh, put it with my Edison pile because like right now I think I just have like rares or something for him. Kind of forgot this was in here for that. So that's, that was before Blackwing. I really knew anything about Edison or anything when this came out. We have Malevic. We have Laundry Dragon. Shout out King Scarlet. We have number four. We have Armored White Bear. Okay, secret. Let's try a little Ghost from the Past one. We could pull Dark Magician Ghost. There's, the packs were opening like in theory, like the best case scenario for these packs would be insane. Like if we pulled like 10K Dragon Ghost Shirt, Dark Magician, Starlight, you know, uh, FX Veiler, like all at the same time. Can you imagine that happening? Just having the best RNG of all time. It'd be pretty amazing. I'm down for it. Spell Ruler. Here we go. The Ruler of Spells. Let's get a Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. Mechanical Snail. We have Koto Dama, Slot Machine, Dark Zebra, Giant Sword of Feeds on Flames, Twin Long Rods, number two, Hamburger. We have Halo's on Rue and Chorus of Sanctuary. Okay, Battles of Legend Armageddon. Let's go. Can we pull? I ruined it. Danger Jackalope. I forgot to not to do the uh, the old pack trick. Very nice. Black Whirlwind. Another another good print for Black Wings. Okay, Secure Garden as well. I I couldn't find one of those for a long time. All right, that's the first time I've messed it up though. Give me give me some credit, guys. First time I've messed it up in like half the box. That's really not bad. We have another Laundry Dragon. We have Appliancer. We have another Appliancer. Junk Anchor and. Uh, Elemental Hero Escarita. I remember saying that over and over, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone use that card. Maybe it's good and I don't know, but I don't think it is. All right, one more arm again. Let's go. Then we'll go to another old school pack. Come on, 10K Dragon, Super All In. We've got Salamangre. We got Top of Logic, Goyo Guardian, Glacial Beast, Blizzard Wolf Secret. All right, DCR time. Can we get that skill drain? The draining of the skills. One, two, three. Let's do this. We have Ojama Trio, Chaos, Frozen Soul, Vile Pawn, Token Thanksgiving, Shadow Knight Archfiend. We got Loyal Goblin. We have Archfiend Soldier and a contract with Exodia, the Forbidden One. Come on, 10K Dragon. I believe in you. You can you can show up here, okay? Just one random box. I know the ratios are against us, but guess what? I believe in the heart of the cards, and that will never be against us. We have Lion Emperor. We have Invoked. Appliancer. Chimera Tech Mega Flea Dragon. Pretty good card. We'll take it. Not bad. Let's try another one. Battles of Legend Armageddon, first edition. Will we pull something crazy? You gotta believe. We have the Appliancer Kappa. Brother of the Fire Fist, Lion Emperor, 
Penguin Torpedo. Cool looking card. Quacky Mirror Drago. I kind of forgot. This is an Edison card. Some sort of Edison card. And Skull Bone. Time for Pharaoh Servant. Not, I was about to say first edition. Not quite first edition, but maybe one day. Here we go. One, two, three. Not that we have an open Pharaoh Servant first edition before, but a lot of intervention. We have Eye of Truth. We have Shadow of Eyes. Darkfire Soldier. Numero Dos. Science Soldier. Gust. Gravity Bind. And a Bombardment beetle okay still a several packs left in this armageddon box so it is definitely not over we still have hope we could still pull something crazy we have the psychic wave necros raw's disciple appliance or dryer powered crawler that's a secret rare okay just a secret one more pack right here oh 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 here we go we have assault blackwing we have steam we have salamang great Kalentoso, Numeron Calling, Secret Rare. That used to be a crazy card. Numerons, now that I know what they actually do, I didn't when I first opened this. I hate those things. Okay, come on, Armageddon. We have number one. We have Obedience. We have Shining Flare, Invoked. Number F0, Utopic Flare. You talk, man, I can't speak. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, Legacy of Darkness, original print. Let's pull something crazy here. Oh, that's a weird opening of the pack. We have Soul Demolition, Convulsion of Nature. Woodland Sprite, Dragon's Gunfire, Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuve, we got Bad Reaction Samochi, Robo Lady, and a Bottomless Trap Hole, original print, hey, that's a cool card, but you know, it's not first dead. All right, last few packs, I've pulled them out, we have four more Battles Legend Armageddon packs, and one old school pack, let's do that. We have a Plancer, number three, Salamangrate, we got a Kaleontosis, and a Powered Crawler, okay, not great there. Also, at the end of this video, I want to shout out Pokey Rux. I've been doing a lot of uploads there, a lot of streaming on Twitch for stuff like that. If you guys are interested in Nuzlocks and stuff like that, go give it some love over there. We're almost to monetization status. I'm excited about that. Go, your Guardian. Come on, here we go. 10K. Ooh, Skull Knight. That's actually a good pull. Got a reprint, so probably not worth as much, but Skull Knight is still a good one. So yeah, go check out Pokerux if you guys are interested in that. I would appreciate it. We've been posting a lot of content over there, so go check it out. It's for Nuzlocks and gameplay and stuff like that. It's been really fun doing that. Elowin, let's go. Grand Tiki Elder. Cure Mermaid. It's going to cure the mermaid. We have Dirac Mord. Fairy Box. Gross Ghost. Lady of Sandal Flames. Dragonic Attack. Sphera's Lady. It is de deceived by the beauty. I don't know about that. And Jam Breeding Machine. So, okay. Nothing out of those old school packs. The pulls have not been fantastic today, but all it takes is one in these last two packs. Here we go. Battles Legend Armageddon. You got to believe. Neos Alias. Chikata King. Pokemon. Top of logic and fossil fusion. That's okay. Final pack. This is where it all turns around. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Here we go. This will be epic content when we pull this 10k in the last pack out of the box. Black Rowan, also pretty nice. Necros, Quacky Mirror Drago. We have Appliancer and a Skullbone Secret. So no luck in that expensive booster box, but maybe next time we'll get that 10k dragon. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.